right guys, we're gonna do an eye surgery update because it's had such a negative impact on every aspect of my life, business, personal, physical, mental. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like the end is in sight. Like, uh, for those of you guys that aren't completely in the loop, we had a cosmetic surgery back in November of last year. And, you know, it didn't seem like there were any negative possibilities. Like, I was like, oh, worst case scenario, I'll just kind of look the same. But I, I was misled. I was not told all the possibilities and outcomes of the surgery. And, you know, I thought, hey, I'd be happier. And maybe I could even take a break, go on vacation, actually have some fun. Because I'm in my early 30s, I've never had fun a day in my life. But instead... I'm spending seven hours in my car every other week driving to see doctors in New York. I've had two corrective surgeries since November and it's still not fixed. I'm, I still don't look normal. I still look cross-eyed and I'm still having vision issues. I still have double vision and I still, my vision literally goes blurry every second. So I'm, I'm very unhappy. I'm upset and, um, and the biggest thing for me is like, I haven't really been able to do YouTube or TikTok or YouTube shorts or, or post health and nutrition content. And I, I feel like I wasn't finished yet. You know, despite like me being plagiarized, there being literal hundreds of shills copying dietary information that I've come up with, like outside of all that stuff and me being shadow banned and saying like, oh, whatever, I might as well not post content anymore. I, I still feel like I have a lot to offer in the health and nutrition context and and this happening is just like beyond discouraging. If I don't even want to be on camera or take photos of myself anymore, I, I, can't, I can't do that. Um, you know, I was looking, I've probably posted like 40 or 50 YouTube videos since the surgery and compared to what I usually do, it's like two, I usually do two or 300 and that doesn't include like all the TikToks and all the YouTube shorts. Um, I'm basically just posting like a business vlog every week just to keep the business afloat, which I'm not even doing well on because I have to pay more employees to, to do the things that I'm supposed to be doing. You know, I don't, I don't feel physically good. I have a hard time doing things every day. Thank, thank God I found out about this Kratom stuff to make me feel better and keep me going because I'm, I'm just so discouraged and upset that uh, I'm, either, I'm either laying in bed all day or at work. There's not, I don't do anything else. Uh, I went to see another plastic surgeon yesterday to see what can be done. And basically, uh, they said that, uh, well, the, the surgeon that originally did the procedure said it's not reversible and that any sort of correction that you would try to do to fix the asymmetry, which isn't really the problem here, uh, it would be riskier. Chances are, chances are you'd cause more of an issue than if you left it alone. Um, but the, the problem is he said it was irreversible and, and can't fix the problem now of uh, my eyes being too close together, me still appearing to be cross-eyed. We went to another plastic surgeon in New York yesterday who said that they can go in and reverse it to some degree, but to me that seems like, <laughs> that's why we have this problem. That, like. To me, going in there and doing that crazy invasive procedure again, well, look what it did the first time. I think that's completely nuts and out of the question, but he said he could do it. Um, the surgeon that did the corrective uh, procedure for the eye position, which is completely different than the cosmetic stuff, the cosmetic surgeon did things physically but messed up my eye movement and has no like specialty or understanding of that aspect of eye surgery. So we had to go to a different type of eye surgeon that does trabismus surgeries, which is eye muscle movement. And that guy is the one who did the two corrective surgeries to try to fix the position of the eyes, but they, they still don't look good. And that seems to be the only option there is for me to look completely normal. Problem is this guy's telling me my eyes are straight. Um, you know, your eyes, he means like they're straight. So he's saying if he moved them anymore, my eyes would be outward and I have problems. Do I believe him? I don't really know. 
because I still have some double vision. Like physically, it looks like my eyes are still pointing inward. So I don't know if, if there is room to move the eyes outward anymore, but he's telling me there isn't. He's telling me my eyes are already completely straight, which is not good because that means that this is the final end result of what I'm gonna look like, which I'm incredibly unhappy with and is, 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 not, is not acceptable. You know, I'm, I'm being very patient with these doctors. I've, give, I've probably given them more chances than I should have. And I want this to end the best for everyone. And I, I guess I'm gonna have to give them a few more chances and try to sort things out. And uh, I, I think the only real option here is maybe try to convince this strabismus doctor, hey, let's go in, let's move the eyes outward a little more. Let's see, let's see if that, because that, that seems to be the only thing that, that can fix the appearance at this point. You know, that, that, that initial cosmetic surgery should never have been done. The doctor has enough experience to, like, I would assume he would have identified the risks and, and, and said I couldn't be a candidate, but I don't, I don't know. But, uh, you know, it's already, it's already been nine months. I, I'm sick to my stomach dealing with this and thinking about it every day. And, uh, and, and the idea that I still have to get at least like two or three more surgeries to just look normal and be so unhappy with my parents, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just so sick and disgusted. And, and, and to top it all off, now I'm having issues with my health insurance. Like I called up uh, a few other doctors to consult on the issue. And then when I gave them my insurance, they said, oh, this insurance company hasn't been paying us lately, maybe costs in a few months. So now I can't even, you know what, I'm gonna have to, Pay, get a second health insurance provider out of pocket and pay more. It's just, I'm just, I'm just so com uh, completely disgusted. I, I don't know what to do anymore. I'm tired of dealing with this. It's hard enough for me to film these vlogs every day and try to keep my business and all the operations going, but um, I don't, I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah, I don't really know if the strabismus surgeon moved my eyes as outward as possible. What I think might have happened was he did the first procedure to move the right eye. Maybe he straightened it completely, but after a few months, it moved in a little bit. Then, since the left eye didn't correct itself on its own, maybe he had to match the left eye to the right eye. So instead of being completely straight, he had to put it a little in because the right eye regressed a little bit from the procedure. So maybe if the strabismus surgeon had just done both eyes in the first place, we might not be in this position, but then uh, what I was really hoping for was in, in the most recent procedure, which we had about a month ago where he corrected the left eye, I was hoping and assuming that he was gonna do both eyes. I thought he was gonna move the right eye a little more out and then completely correct the left eye, but he didn't. He just, he just matched the left eye to the right eye and now it, it still looks weird. It still looks off. I, it doesn't. It doesn't look normal. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully, we stick it out a few more months. But you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do at this point from a, from a YouTube and content and, and health perspective. It's just you know, like like me 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 spending two or three extra hours a day like doing random stuff in my business is not comparable. It's not going to make up for me not being able to post on social media and do content. Like if I. If I put the efforts into other things, it doesn't it doesn't equate to social media. So, um, thank thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for continuing to support the business. Uh, I really do appreciate it. And um, you know, on, on one hand, I, on one hand, I really don't care. Like, if I'm just gonna if I just want to lay in bed, drugged up all day, hey, no problem doing that. But I know I have a lot more to offer, and there's a lot of people I can help. And you know, I've never, I've never chosen the easy thing or the wrong thing to do. So, uh, I, I like to, to sort this out and make sure it ends well for everyone involved and be able to continue to, to do the, the business stuff as much as I'm not having fun doing it. Um, I think I'm helping a lot of people. And on the other hand, the, the way it's going at this point, if I'm, hey, if I just need to, if I'm going to, I don't know, I don't know what to do at this point. I'm, I'm not, I'm not happy. I'm, not, I'm tired of dealing with this. It should have never happened in the first place.